Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sopo and I'm filming a sit down video today and it's gonna be about this product over here, Hourglass Foundation Stick that I got gifted uh, by Falco in December. So it's been quite a few months now, three months that I've been using it and I really wanted to show you the genuine application wear on the quite problematic skin as I have. I am eight months pregnant, as some of you may already know, and uh, my perioral dermatitis that I've been suffering with um, for two years now is having quite a bit of a flare up at the moment. Um, I don't know if you can tell that through the camera. It got a little bit better now, but like two weeks ago, people who were here present in the room could definitely see like scaly skin around the mouth. Every time I would call with my parents, they would say like, what's wrong around your mouth? Why is it so red? and it was just like this irritated skin which was showing as of it was lacking some hydration but every time I would add up like moisturizer normal one it would get worse but that's something that I already know from the first time so instead of aggravating it I completely cut on the uh, skincare routine honestly Right now I'm on a cold turkey. I don't have anything on my face. As you can tell right now, I just wear the Lip Sleeping Mask by Laneige. I really love that Lip Sleeping Mask. I know that a lot of people are not fond of it, but I find it absolutely comfortable on my lips. I don't know, it smells so tasty and it feels very, very calm, just like any balm, but it stays all night long. So I've already finished one tube that I had and I have another one with a mango taste that I found also this time. And uh, yeah, that's that. That's the sheen you see on my lips. I also used a little bit of under eye cream from Bobbi Brown that I got in my advent calendar as well. And well, that's basically it. I don't have anything else. Um, I already did my hair, but tied it up in the back because as told, I wanted to focus on this uh, to show you the application of it and discuss the texture, everything related to it and uh, then we can do a little review based on the experience that I've had. The product in question comes in this stick form. It has a little bit of like triangle shape and my one is in color Alabasta. This is not the only foundation that I have, but I also use uh, the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Beautiful foundation that has a little bit more warmer undertone. It's in number two um, versus uh, this one, which is a little bit more cooler undertone. And obviously the formula is completely different because the other one is a liquid formula. This one is in stick form, as the name suggests. I think uh, the official name of it is called like Banish Seamless Foundation. And they advertise it being like two in one with the application of a concealer, but being very easy to glide on the skin and um, spreadability of cream um, and has a double coverage and is water resistant as far as I know. Yeah, that's easy to carry and um, apply both. You can do it with fingers but also with the brush. I have with me this brush, foundation brush, because I prefer to apply it um, with that. Rather than going into depth, I think it's better if I start just applying and showing it to you on my face as told usually most of the people would have applied like a primer or a basic cream at least to moisturize their face but it's especially double interesting in my situation where i don't have anything on and i have quite a bit of pigmentation right now being pregnant obviously it's even more visible than ever a little bit of blemishes and having this very fair skin prone to dermatitis i also have rosacea in addition to the perioral dermatitis so they say that it has a double coverage and stays on full day and we can definitely check that out how it looks it also is supposed to melt together with uh, like body temperature that's uh, what they advertise and um, yeah you're gonna see that how it looks in a minute I just apply like three strokes over there three four strokes here same way like three strokes here and maybe a tiny bit on the nose usually uh, depending on the skin condition, I choose the amount. There have been days where I, for example, did not apply anything on my forehead at all because most of the time 
uh, the forehead looks the nicest in my um, face and I feel like that I can just selectively apply the foundation if I don't want it to be everywhere so just start blending it out with this brush buffing on my face I don't know if you can tell but it instantly started to cover the redness on top of my cheeks which basically every foundation is supposed to do so I continue to buff it Honestly, I could really imagine uh, this being even more beautiful if you have hydrated and prepped skin with some other skin prep products. But it is what it is. We only have one face, right? I remember that I saw this many, many times on Tamara Kalinic videos who I have been following many many years now and she always swore on this product especially on the go and she's like literally all the time on the go so I thought ah maybe it's worth a try I'm gonna try to move you a little bit closer to my face this is the close-up how it looks straight after applying it they advertise it so that you have to leave it a few minutes long on your face to really see it melt and blend with the body temperature. I can tell you that I have definitely seen that happen. So the first time you apply, and especially with the brush, you see the brush strokes on the face. But if you leave it like two, three minutes long, it seamlessly blends into your skin. What I really love with this foundation stick is that I think it is a perfect match with my skin so I don't see any you know like difference between my neck and my face. I am very pale almost fair color and especially now that we are still in winter beautiful skin foundation by Charlotte Tilbury can give a little bit of difference so I always need to apply a little bit of bronze or something like that on the neck to you know like balance that out I don't really need that here obviously without any additional makeup one looks very um, I don't know what is the word like washed off with only foundation stick but um, what we want to see is how well it has done the coverage this video is not about like having the full glam of makeup on the face right has not covered fully like this little spot over here and a little bit more is visible here as well but I think if I would want to I could definitely add up there build on it let's try that but I usually never really do it and that's something up to you to decide if you want this perfect skin look but a little bit more cakey or if you are fine with um, some blemishes showing out but it looking more natural I always opt for more natural look I think this is a good possibility for you to see what I mean with perioral dermatitis the skin starts to like peel off and that's what's the happening on my nose especially when you try to apply like products cream products um it shows off especially a lot so let's give this foundation a few minutes and i'm gonna be back to show you the finished look of it i just have my caudalie grape water which i love to spray on my face to like dampen it up a little bit especially that i'm not using uh, the moisturizer at the moment i feel like that this gives a little bit more of like liquid to my face before i start on adding rest of the makeup what i wanted to say before i do that is that in my opinion an observation throughout this three months is it definitely has high coverage and longevity i've never tested it for 24 hours or anything like that but i've applied it in the morning before going to work and then removed it in the evening uh, and the pad you know like this reusable pads that we use 
often were full of this product and then you can definitely see it still being there i often don't touch my face but whenever i do i don't feel it being like sticky and tacky as a lot of other foundations feel like it has quite dry finish and has this satiny look if you ask me so if you want this glowy look that definitely is not the foundation that need you need to opt for but i don't think this is a big problem because there are so many other layers that we add on the face um in highlighter will do the job so yeah let me quickly finish up my face so that i don't look this washed off and then i'm gonna come back to say a few words about the product and the impressions that i have now you guys this is the finished makeup look i just added a little bit of blush my favorite spring lipstick uh, by tom ford which has this corally orange undertone um, I applied also a little bit of bronzer and contour, but like really tiny bit. Did the eye makeup and that's basically it. You can see like on this area, I don't powder myself, so you can see on this chin area and on the forehead, that's the foundation as it was before. So this is how I would usually head out of the house if I was going out. Um, and I really love the finished look. Now, a few final words about the product. It's a very expensive. Let's start with that. Um, I just searched online and the price ranges between 53 to 56 euro. If you don't have discount code, I would say that for 7.2 gram product, it's pretty lot. And there are other foundations out there that are very good and cost maybe even half, if not a little bit more than half, you know, of this price. But in defense of the foundation sticks, if you are a fan of such products and you just want to apply on like concrete areas, um, have something that acts like a concealer stick, but also has the purpose and creaminess of the foundation, such foundation sticks are perfect. Before this one, I had also the Bobbi Brown one, which also was brilliant, I would say. I just wanted to try this and I am like equally in love. I would not really necessarily say that this is so much better than the Bobbi Brown one, but the price was comparable as well. I'm going to check it and leave on the screen um, the price of the Bobbi Brown one. So I think they are pretty similar. The color range for these products are very like wide, which is also something to welcome. It has 32 colors, so covers all the skin types from fair to dark skin, deep skin color. Tube is very, very beautiful as well, I would say. Looks very sleek and very expensive. This uh, mechanism over here doesn't feel like, you know, cheap. If you go to the drugstore and sometimes you buy the product and you see that they have compromised on the packaging. So if you love this luxurious feel of the products in your vanity, um, you definitely get it with this. When you buy this one, the sales associates often recommend you to get their brush, which costs equally approximately 50 euro. I have just used my usual brush and it works as well, but yeah, there is also this package deals often if you want to look out for that. Other than that, what I've read on their web page is that it has won the best foundation in Style 2017 Reader's Choice Award, which is something to mention. Apparently a lot of the beauty community people loved it. It is vegan and cruelty free and it's formulated without fragrance, which can be also important to note for people. Who have like skin issues it's without gluten sulfates phthalates um, gmos parabens nanoparticles and it's not tested on animals i think that is that i don't know what else to tell you please let me know what you think about this product if you've tried it if there are any other like foundation sticks that you've tried and that you would think is like also equally good that i should give a try leave in the comment section below yeah if you're first time here and enjoyed watching this content Please don't forget to like, subscribe, it means a lot for small channels like mine. I will be filming some other videos related to like nesting and the core products that we got. Um, but I also want to stay truthful to the topics that I have been filming my videos um, about. And that's beauty, lifestyle, vlogs. So that's what you get on this channel. 
and if you are up to watching such type of content i would be glad if you friend me and stay here thank you for your time once again and i wish you a successful rest of the week i'm gonna continue enjoying my maternity leave while it lasts <laughs> and call it a day for now